I've seen a lot of interests on the internet about how to use Obsidian to write your Astro websites articles. And I think that is a really good idea, but it doesn't have a first class support. So you need to hack your way in order to achieve writing your Astro articles using Obsidian. I've seen people write Node.js scripts that pull markdown files from the Obsidian vault and push them to the Astro project. And that's not a bad idea, but it involves scripting, it involves maintaining the script, it involves not forgetting to run the script, etc. It just involves time and focus. So what is the alternative? You would think, I'm just going to open my Astro project as just another vault. All right, so you would do open folder as vault. You would get into your Astro project. For example, this is my personal website project folder. I can click open and this is what I get. Now I can dip into source, dip into content and then blog. And then I can open my articles markdown, right? It makes sense. I'm literally inside of the Astro project. But this is what I don't like about this approach. Look at all the noise. You got the utilities, styles, pages, blog, markdown plugins, layout, freaking node modules inside of Obsidian. It doesn't make sense, right? In this context, in the context of Obsidian, we don't care about website code. We only care about the content. So everything that has to do with the website code, like node modules, components and layouts and pages and stuff like that, it's just in our way. And right now there is no way for us to ignore certain files and folders into our vaults. Something, for example, like git ignore, but for Obsidian, it is a highly requested feature. I really hope that someday we'll get to see that built in Obsidian itself. But right now, at the time of recording this video, it's just not possible. So we need to do something about that. And I found a really cool way to achieve this without using any plugins or without writing any Node.js scripts. Okay, so check this out. Here is my work machine vault. Let's say that this is my brain dump, right? I got my knowledge base here. I got my daily nodes here, all of my templates, etc. This is where I dump all of my learnings. And out of my learnings grow out my articles. So it would be cool if I also had access or a little window to my articles in this vault without even looking at all of the node modules BS. And you can achieve that by creating symbolic links within your vault that point to the content and assets folder of your Astro project. First, what I want to do is create a new folder inside my vault and I'm going to use my domain name as the name of the folder, because this is where I'm going to keep my personal website articles. This also extends to any Astro website that you maintain. So it's not just a single website setup, it's a multi-website setup. All right, so now since we have the website folder, I'm going to go to my terminal. Right now I'm in the actual vault. So I can CD into my new folder and I'm going to create the symbolic links by typing in ln-s, for the first argument, we're going to point to the contents folder of the Astro project. So that's jump twice. In my case, personal website v2, this is my Astro projects folder. Then I'm going to get into source and then content. And as the next argument, you would type in the name of your symbolic link. So let's just keep it as content, right? If I do ls-la, we're going to see that we have a content symbolic link that points to the source slash content folder of the Astro project. So now if I go into Obsidian and open my nicoloflazer.com folder, I can actually see that folder inside and check it out. These are the content collections of my Astro project, right? So I can just open one of my articles and I can just keep on writing. Beautiful, but there's a problem now. You see, the images themselves don't actually work because Obsidian doesn't know where they are. It doesn't have access to the assets folder. And this is why it is important to mirror the Astro projects folder structure into the Obsidian Vault's folder structure. So for example, content and assets would be sibling folders or like folders on the same level. To bring in the assets folder, all we need to do is just repeat the last ln-s command, but just type in assets. And now check it out. We have the images 
rendering without any issues. And then there's also the assets folder with all of the images that we have. Cool. Since we added symbolic links, that means that if I create a file in any of these two projects, I'm actually creating the files inside of the Astro project, not inside of the Obsidian Vault. So, for example, if I need to develop the website, build new features, change the layout, etc., I'm going to use VS Code or NeoVim. If I want to just write articles, which I do more often than editing the website's code, I'm going to use Obsidian. And using Obsidian for writing your Astro articles is actually a really productive way to blog and to write articles because Obsidian is very powerful. You're going to utilize Obsidian's plugins and cool tricks to make blogging easier. For example, you can use a plugin like Templator to create templates for each of your content collections. Right, for example, for the blog content collection, we have title, description, tags, date, is external, etc. For the courses content collection, we have a totally different set of front matter properties that we need to provide. So it only makes sense for us to build a template for that. So let's do that. I'm going to copy one of my course items, right click into my templates folder, name it as a course, and I'm just gonna drop the front matter here and clean up all the data. Okay, this is enough. So what I can do now to make my life easier is to go into the templater settings, scroll down to the folder templates section and add a new folder template so that when we create a new node inside of the content slash courses folder, we're going to use the course.md template. So if I were to create a new course entry, just hitting a new node, I'm also going to get all of the front matter already applied. Instead of going into a different entry, copying that one and doing that every time I want to create a new course or a blog or a video or a talk, etc. This is where the editing experience of Obsidian and its ecosystem really shines through. This is a very simple trick that you can do without necessarily installing any plugins or, or writing any node module scripts but it only works for Unix systems and Mac OS. I am not a Windows guy. I have no idea how to do this in Windows. If you do know, please write it down in the comments and I'm going to pin that comment so our Windows friends can actually achieve the same functionality. They can marry Obsidian and Astro on their Windows machines. So there's my quick and easy trick on how to use Obsidian with Astro. So I really hope you liked this video. Hit the like button. Subscribe on my channel for more content like this and have fun blogging.